and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video happy new year guys we are now in 2020 that just sounds such a nice rounded number and i'm hoping for good things this year so yesterday i went to wellingborough with my daughter chloe and my granddaughter amelia and i picked up a few bits in there and then today with my two other grandchildren i went to the bed for bnm and picked up a few more bits in there um, a couple of days ago I took a trip to Poundland, as you do, and I picked up a few bits in there as well. So what I thought I'd do is just put the whole lot together and just show you the Poundland and the B&M. And it's turned out to be quite a huge haul actually, so yeah. So whatever time of the day it is, get your drinks ready, get your snacks, get your cosy blankets, and let's get into this video. Sorry if the camera is a different angle or anything, but I need to just go upstairs for a minute because Gabriella was calling me. Right, I'm going to get straight into this because I feel like I've rambled for ages. So I'm just going to get straight into this. So there's no order or anything like that. I'm just going to pull out whatever's in the bag and show you guys. I have got my receipt for today's shopping, but I can't actually find the receipt that I had for yesterday and I can't find the one that I have for the Poundland. So I'm going to try and guess, but just, just don't shoot the messenger if I get it wrong, okay? So as soon as we got into B&M, the kids saw the Christmas chocolate that was left over and they obviously wanted chocolate. So I said I would treat them and we found these. So I got three tubes of these. These were around at Christmas. I think they were doing them for two for £1.50. If you can hear a bell, it's Tilly running around right now. I think they were doing two for £1.50. I know they were doing the Freddo ones and the chocolate button ones for two two for one pound fifty because i bought those at christmas um i don't know i might be wrong they might be they might have been a pound each but they'd actually gone down to 49p so i couldn't say no to the kids so i picked up three packets of these one for each of the grandchildren even though it's nine o'clock at night it's dark outside i needed to do this haul tonight because of these basically i picked up two boxes of cake mixing stuff because we are making cupcakes tomorrow so obviously i need to show you guys before i use them so gabby picked the velvety vanilla cake mix which is just the betty crocker one this was one pound 89 and she absolutely loves making cupcakes when she comes around mine and she picked the most expensive cupcake mix that she could find but yeah i don't mind this one it's really really nice i love betty crocker stuff i've used her stuff so many times and it's just easy to make as well you just simply add eggs oil water jam and icing so not even a lot of ingredients you need to add you just mix it all together and then put it in the oven so we're gonna be making cupcakes tomorrow with this finley chose these ones which were the chocolate muffins they only make six chocolate muffins but i think they're quite big muffins little snowman ones these are the christmas ones so they were only 50p so i thought why not why not pick them up i should have picked up a few more i don't know why i didn't over the cupcakes finley saw these really lovely sprinkles these are the dinosaur sprinkles and if you have a look you've got little green sprinkles in here you've got dinosaur eggs um i don't know what this is they're just sprinkles and then here you've got little dinosaur shapes and he really really liked these i've got loads of sprinkles in my cupboard but i've literally not got a lot of boys sprinkles and finley absolutely loves dinosaurs i know that sounds really funny saying boys sprinkles you know what i mean these were only a pound so yeah pick these up and these would do every time we make cupcakes for our cupcakes tomorrow we saw this mr kipling's and i think these are new actually i've not seen these in b&m before so i think they're new and they're a little bit cheaper than the betty crocker ones so if you're looking for buttercream guys these were only one pound fifty and they had lots of flavors in there this one is just buttercream style icing but they had almond flavor they had chocolate fudge flavor um i'm not sure what other flavors but go and have a look because this is only one pound fifty for a big tub of icing like this so i thought that was really good next up just picked up some biscuits for the cupboard the kids absolutely love biscuits when they come around they're always asking nan where's your biscuit if you saw my last video which was my primark haul i picked up a cookie jar and i just haven't got the heart to put it away i know it's a little christmas snowman but i just haven't got the heart to put it away yet until i find another one obviously um but so i picked up some more because that is empty now so we just picked up these biscuits today these ones i saw which really intrigued me because i've not tasted these before 
they are toffee popcorn crunch but they're Maryland cookies I just thought why not why not try these they sound so so nice and they were really cheap as well what's my receipt I think there was only like 49p but these were literally 49p which I thought was so good I think it's an introductory price because they're brand new so. Next up, we've just got some party rings. Gabs and Finley absolutely adore these biscuits. So every time I've got these, they go so quickly. And they're really cheap as well, I think. So 39p for a whole packet of party rings, which is so good. Um, and then they chose these ones, which was the jammy and cream ones. These are basically like jammy dodgers, but they're a cheaper version. And they were... Where are you? Jammy creams. And they were only 49p, so loads of biscuits now for the house. So the kids are going to be really happy. So next up, again down the chocolate aisle, I saw these. And these are from the Christmas range, I think. And I don't know why, because obviously these are around all the time. Um, but these were only 69p, and it's a massive share bag of Maltese buttons. I thought, why not? I love a little cheeky snack sometimes and these are quite low in calories so I don't mind having a few of these with maybe like a healthy yogurt or something like that or even just a little snack on a Saturday night. Why not? Yes. Have you come to join us baby? Can you come and say hello? Say hello. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. okay. She's got so big now guys honestly she's so big but she's the most independent cat. She will come and sit on me and give me a cuddle but if I try and pick her up she's not having none of it. So I've got two bottles of Coke. This is for Brandon. I don't drink Coke a lot. I, well, tell a lie. I do drink Coke, but it's got to be diet. He likes the normal Coke. So I just picked these up for him. I think they, were, they weren't on offer or anything like that. One forty nine each. So yeah, I don't think they're on offer. I think that's how much they normally are. Um, but these were a bit more than a litre. They're 1.5. 25 litres. So we're one bag down with D&M. Next bag. So next up, I saw these in the shop and I fell in love. I want to get the whole set. It is these little utensils. But look, this is what drew me to them. They've got little sprinkles on. And actually, the spoon and the spatula itself is silicone. And the rest of it is wooden. And I just thought these are so cute. Gabby is four years old. So I think these were a lot easier than a metal or a wooden spoon. Um, and I think she'll just enjoy these because, look, they're so cute. They've got these little sprinkles on. And these were only £2. Next up, I just got these rolls. Um, we are having hot dogs tomorrow night. So I just thought I'd pick these up. They were 49p. And they're just the ones that you put in the oven. Nothing to say about them really. They're bread rolls, you put them in the oven, they taste really, really nice, and they were only 49p. So, for some reason, obviously it's winter, people are rushing down to get hot chocolate, and I have been looking for my highlights hot chocolate, which I am obsessed with. Sorry, Cadbury's highlight chocolate, which I am obsessed with, and I can't find it anywhere. And then I walked into BM and woohoo, I found it. This was only $1.99. It's a Highlights Hot Chocolate. This is literally my favourite hot chocolate ever. And I just feel like, I don't feel so guilty having a hot chocolate because it's only 38 calories a cup. So I always buy this at winter, but I just haven't been able to find it. Picked up some marshmallows. I love marshmallows in my hot chocolate. You just can't have a hot chocolate without marshmallows in the winter. You just can't do it. it they just taste so nice, melted. Also, I'm going to put these on our cupcakes tomorrow as well. So, there's my excuse for buying marshmallows. I think these were a pound. Let's have a look. Marshmallows, where are you? Oh my gosh, they was 39p. So, even better. I should have picked up a few bags of those. I didn't know there was 39p. Just picked up some milk for Tilly. Obviously, cats are lactose intolerant, so they can't have our milk. So, I always pick these up from B&M or Home Bargains, anywhere like that. They're only like 65p for a little tub. Stock them up in the fridge and she loves them. I can't get her to drink water. So if you know any ways of getting a cat to drink water, please let me know because I put water down for her every day. She just won't drink it. She's a bit of a pamper pooch really. She'd prefer milk. But yeah, so 65p for those. Next up, I just got this olive oil spray. It is only one calorie per spray, and I am trying to be a little bit healthier this year. 
Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, cooking on my channel, so look out for those ones. So I've got some healthy cooking coming, so look out for those videos. Oh, I didn't tell you how much this was. Yeah, I haven't got my receipt for this, but I think it was a pound, so not bad. It lasts a long time. So I obviously went down the clean aisle. It wouldn't be a B&M haul or a B&M shop for me if I didn't go down the cleaning aisle. And I just picked up a few bits from there. Not very much, actually. I think it's because I've got most of it in Poundland. Um, I saw these, which I thought were a really good idea. I might put them in my drawer, maybe hang them in the toilet. And I've not seen these around any, anywhere before. Um, and I just thought that was a really good idea. They've got like a little hanging hook on them. These ones I've got in the sparkling berry. And these are the same as the little sprays that I buy normally. So I know I like the scent and you can actually smell it through the packaging. So it's quite strong. These are only a pound to get two in a pack. But I liked them because they've got little hooks on. And I'm thinking of like hooking one on the toilet handle maybe. And then maybe putting one upstairs. I don't know. I'm going to think of somewhere to put them. So fabulous to have come out with their own range of stuff. And I saw this and I just thought this was such a good idea. It is a carpet freshener, just like the 1001. But this is the type of thing they're bringing up. They have got sprays, they've got carpet fresh. I didn't know they had this in it. And don't quote me on this, but I think they're just over a pound. So they're a lot cheaper than the 1001. Um, I got mine in the fragrance Wild Rhubarb. And basically, you just spray this on your carpets, on your rugs, on your sofa, your chairs, anywhere like that. And there's no need to hoover up or anything, just like the 1001. Um, it eliminates smells like pet odours, cigarette smells and cooking smells. So the last thing I picked up from B&M was this beautiful hanging heart. I absolutely love this. It's got marble on it, it's got rose gold on it, all the things that I like in my home. So yeah, when I saw this, I thought I had to have it. I'll give you a close up a bit. So it's rose gold. Come on. It's got rose gold writing. It says home sweet home on it, which I just, just thought was so, so nice. I normally hang these on the door or I don't know, on the wall somewhere maybe. I don't know, but I just love little bits like this. I just think this adds to your home. I really do. And it was literally in the special buy for a pound. So we are now on our pound land and I've only got two bags and there's not too much here. So just hold on, get in there. The first thing I see in my bag are these little pods. These are just for my coffee maker that my mum gave me. Um, I basically have a, a Dolce Gusto, is that it? I'm not entirely sure if I've got that right. I probably messed up that whole name. Um, but these are the cappuccino ones and those things, those pods are expensive. Expensive. This was only a pound, so I think they were originally two pound, but they actually put them down for a pound. So I just thought, why not pick it up? It just makes cappuccinos in my little coffee maker. You get ten drinks out of this, so you get ten pods in it. So yeah. So I am trying to be healthy this year, guys. So I picked this up. I saw these. These are the Fiber One 90 calories bars. These are so nice, so so nice. I've had these in the lemon flavor and i think they do a carrot one as well but the chocolate fudge brownie is my favorite and these one pound fifty um you get five bars in here and they trust me they're really really nice and they're only 90 calories so you don't have to feel guilty about having some chocolate and really 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 needed a new um a measuring jug this was only a pound and i just liked it look it's got a bit of pink on it as well but it's really really pretty not to say about it really it's just a measuring jug it's just going to help me out with my baking so i've got some of these icing bags we like i said we are always making cupcakes and stuff like that and i never had any of these i've got like the little um what are they called the little nozzles that go in them i've got loads of those so i just saw these i thought they were a pound you get 20 in a pack so they're disposable as well you just use them and throw them away so so much easier but they have got some christmas bits left over and they are literally 25p so i saw these and how cute are these i didn't see these over christmas so i don't know where they were hiding them but yeah 25p each a little reindeer chocolate lolly and a little snowman chocolate lolly and i just thought these were really cute i actually picked these up one for chloe and one for amelia 
but obviously I had to wait to do this video first to show you what they've got in there before I could give them to them so they're waiting for these yeah so 25p they had lots of Christmas bits in there for 25p guys so go and have a look because you never know what bargains you can pick up now and you can put them away for next Christmas so go and have a look 25p all their stuff is in there so yeah I picked up great bargain I'm so happy also again 25p these little snowballs I just bought a little snack for myself maybe I was actually going to eat these on the way home in the car and I forgot so yeah just show you anyway but yeah they've got lots of these left which are the Cadbury's ones as well so for 25p I just couldn't resist so on my cooker in my kitchen I've got like a big round bars and I really really wanted a mirrored tray I've seen it so much on Pinterest and I really like the look of it and I found one in Poundland I was so so chuffed about this it's just a rounded mirror but I'm literally going to put this on the cooker and then the bars on top and I just know it looks so nice because I've seen it on everyone's channel I've seen it on Pinterest and places like that and it was only a pound it's just a little thin one but you can pick these up from eBay and places like that but they are a little bit more expensive and I just thought for now that will do it will look really nice you see I went down the cleaning aisle like I always do in all my shops um, I found this which is just an air freshener I've got one of those sprays and I've told you on my channel before that I use these and then I just change the little top bit at the top and then I know it's going to fit my spray. Um, I picked up the Lily White Flowers and I sprayed this in the shop and it smells really, really nice. And it was only a pound, so yeah, picked up one of these. So they still had this one in here, which is a winter scent. It is a limited edition one as well. They're the perfume ones. Um, it's the Comfort Creations, by the way. Didn't even say that, did I? It's a Comfort Creations. This is the Frosted Pine and Apple, and I love this one. I just really, really like this, but I know, being a limited edition, being a winter scent, it's gonna go. You're not gonna see it again until next winter. So yeah, pick this one up, two pound. It does 33 washes, and it smells amazing. We are on to the last bag. I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear that. Like I said, I picked up some sprinkles for Gabs. These are unicorn ones. They are so, so cute. She has been begging me to get some unicorn sprinkles, and I saw these, and I thought, why not? So you get 12 cupcake cases, and you just get a decorating kit in the bottom, and you've just got little unicorn bits in there I don't know if you can see that can you see that yeah so you've got little unicorn bits in there and lots of little different colour sprinkles and yeah we're going to use these for our cupcakes tomorrow and they're only a pound so like I said all the little Christmas bits that are left over are 25p and you won't believe it I saw these tins and I had to double ask because why are you selling these for 25p they're so so cute 25p guys i mean you've got to go in there get this is what i'm talking about collect little bits like this you can put them away for next christmas and you've only paid 25p no one's gonna know that so this one says don't make me put my foot down and they're just little tins this one is full with some little sweets it's got shrimp shrimps and bananas in it and put this away for someone for next year and they're gonna love it because they're not gonna know it's 25p and I only paid 25p for it. Also picked up this one again, so cute. It's got unicorns on it. Um, choose to sparkle, it says. And this one is full of little pink and white marshmallows. So quite a while ago, when I went into Poundland, I found some makeup brushes and I fell in love with them. They were so so nice, but I could only get one brush, and they didn't have them again for until I went in the other day and I was shocked to find that they had a whole range I was so so happy so basically they're these brushes rose gold and silver diamonds in the bottom of them and they're just so nice they look so expensive compared to a pound I picked up three in that style I picked up the concealer brush the eyeshadow blending brush and a foundation brush and the brush I've got upstairs is actually like a bronzing blush your brush and I just wanted to add to my collection I'm so glad I found them and trust me when I say these are so soft and really really nice on the skin honestly they're well worth the pound I also picked up this brush and it really intrigued me because it is basically an eyeshadow brush it says it's an eyeshadow brush um, but this part here is like silicone on the top it's like rubbery 
And I was thinking that when I do a cut crease, I'm always, always trying to find a really good brush to do a cut crease. And I thought this would be amazing to do a cut crease because it's not going to move anywhere. It's going to stay put where you want it. Put a bit of concealer on it. Try it out. It's only a pound. If I get on really well with it and I like it, I'll put it in my description box down below and let you guys know how I got on with it. I picked this up because it reminded me so much of the Victoria's Secret spray. It's called the Secret Sass Collection. There was lots and lots of fragrances. I can't remember what they were called because they had long, long names, so I can't remember. Um, this one's called Hot Temptation and the fragrance is Red Plum and Freesia. And I kid you not, this smells blimmin' amazing. It is so lovely, so, so lovely. I sprayed it in the shop and I just thought, oh, I'll get that. That smells amazing. Like, I wish you could smell this. Oh, it's just so, so nice. It's got a real nice berry scent to it. And I love perfumes and sprays like that. I really do. And it was only a pound. It's only a little tiny bottle though. It's only 125 milliliters. But for a pound, you just, you can't say no to that. And it smells... I promise you, these smell amazing. I did spray some of the others and they really, really smell nice. So I am trying to get a bit healthier this year and I saw this book by Joe Cross. It's called The Reboot with Joe Juice Diet. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't picked it up because I wanna go on a diet. I've actually got a Nutribullet and I make smoothies with it, but sometimes I feel like they're just a little bit bland. Do you know a bit of advice on what to put in them to just make them taste that little bit better? And I saw this and I looked through the pages and I realised that he actually does juices. He's got smoothies in here. They e He even does soup in here. He did have other diet books in there as well. So if you're looking for any advice or anything like that with diet in this year, then... Go and look at these in Poundland because they're for pounds. So that is everything that I picked up in B&M and Poundland. And I do feel like this video has been a little bit long. But, you know, I picked up some great bargains. And if I can help you guys out and show you what bargains they've got in the shop, then I'm going to do so. If any point that you loved this video, then don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed already, then hit that little red button down below. Also hit the notification bell because that will tell you whenever I upload. And I will see you all in my next video. Love you all guys. Bye. Mwah.